Hello, it's me, René, from ZSK Germany. In this tutorial, we want to show you how to make an embroidery on a soccer shoe. For this matter, we need our shoe frame. The shoe frame can be fixed on a Sprint 5 machine as well as on our J series. If it is ready, then our soccer shoe will look like that. To adjust the shoe frame for different shoe sizes, we open the four knurled head screws and now I'm able to adjust the size for different shoes. So now we have to fix our shoe frame on the sprint machine. First of all, I will check where is my pantograph. The pantograph is at the moment not in the middle, so I will move it into the middle. Take now the shoe frame. To fix the shoe frame, you have to make it here with these two screws. I bring it in. Open the screws a bit, push it back and tighten the screws. Now we have to create a design and in this case we're using our base pack software and as you can see I'm already in the directory. Go quickly to pictogram, choose then my flag for instance, Germany. Zoom it a little bit more up. Set the cursor for the text and write now my text. The next step, what I have to do is to send it via network to the machine. Also can be used on a USB key, of course. In my case, I press here the machine button, set the start and end point, confirm it, and now it will be transferred to the machine. As you can see now here, our stitch amount. We do have in this design 3000 stitches. Here underneath you see my colors, black, red and golden for the German flag as well as for the text. The needles are already assigned and by the way I want to give an advantage for instance. We should use for shoes needle size 75 or 80 but it should be short shaften, KK needles. Before you start the embroidery, you should make sure that the bobbin does have enough thread. So you see, I will check first time, do I have enough thread on it? Definitely yes. I bring it back and now I can put the shoe on it. Before you move the frame, please pay attention that the holders or pins are closed. As you can see now, my pins are closed. The dangerous part in this case is, if the pin is open, it can damage either the pressure foot or the catcher bar. So please always close the pins, then you move. We prepare now the shoe. We have to pull off the shoelaces. quite much. Also the tongue has to be inside the shoe. Push it in and because then you have a lot of space here on the shoe as you can see. Open now my pins, take the shoe and important in this case is that the frame is completely inside the shoe. That means even the underneath part. Close the pins. Mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and put it to the position. To put the design on a particular position on the shoe, we do have a function in the T8 unit control called design range. We will find it here. I select it. So now you can see where my start point is of the design. This is the cross here. I will bring down now the needle. This allows me to see exactly the position on the shoe where I am. And I press now the start button to see where the whole design will be placed. So my design is not parallel to my stripes, but I would like to have it. In this case, I open now one side of the frame and arrange the shoe and close it again and start the design wrench for one more time. And I'm checking if it is, the design is parallel to the stripe. Normally the shoes has different thickness of material and for this I have the possibility to uh, change the pressure foot height. To show you this and for better understanding I will go now to needle number 12. In this case I press the button on the T unit control, needle change, use the needle number 12 and press the start button. Put the needle down. This adjustment is to change the pressure foot height. We do have four positions. At the moment I am on the deepest position, as you can see. For the shoes we will go for position number two or three to avoid any marks or damaging on the shoe. Unfortunately, every shoe does have inside the material glue parts. And the glue parts is a big problem, especially when the thread sticks on the needle. The machine is not able to make any stitch anymore. To avoid any trouble with the glue on the shoe, which causes a trouble, I put oil on the needle, which I show now. You take the oil. And now you can run the machine. The embroidery on the shoe is now finished. 
To put off the shoe, you have to move the frame forward until the levers are in front of the pressure feet. To prevent any problems, as I told you before, now you can open it, otherwise it could be that it damage even behind the pressure bar or the pressure foot. The upper material of some shoes is not easy to embroider. As you can see on this golf shoe sample, some stitches are missing, even I got loops. To avoid a bad embroidery view, we recommend to use a plastic foil, which you place on top before starting the machine. Now the needle will go through to this helpful foil. In my case it's even a water-soluble foil. And then up to the upper material as well as the inner side material of the shoe and gives me for shoe a nice view. This was our mini workshop how to embroider on shoes. We hope it was helpful. And in the last tutorial you have seen this soccer shoe which we did. This is an example on a leather soccer shoe. This is a work shoe. Another example on a golf shoe. Or a nice design on a sneakers or basketball shoes.